just over two years ago, I moved to the village of Nutless, a village of 300 souls, one pub, one station, and quite a lot of artists um, right on the, on the border. So the back of my house looks out of the Shropshire Hills, and uh, it's been an absolutely life-changing experience, both for my well-being as a person, but also for my paintings, because here I have an opportunity to explore completely different vistas and uh, enjoy the, f the clear, brilliant light and, and ever-changing light of the Welsh marshes. I like to paint with energy. If I don't paint with energy, then it, it, the, the painting begins to die very, very quickly, and, which is why I work primarily in acrylics, because acrylics dry very quickly. You can keep the action going, and you're not waiting for anything to dry off somewhere else. You can just keep on painting it, and then when the energy goes, stop. And then if you have to, quickly rework it again. Yes, there is a, a way that I work. It starts with drawing and maybe doing some little studies and then thinking actually I, I, it's at that after that point I spend a lot of time just thinking about it and so that I have it fixed in my head um, obviously by drawing it and, and doing small studies watercolor studies or whatever you do establish it um, but then I like to think about how that's going to be portrayed if I'm going to go bigger with it and produce a big painting and how that's going to work out and the kind of brush strokes I'm going to be using and techniques uh, and of course colours which is the most important thing for me. But there is that gap between drawing and, and doing studies of just thinking and taking time to, uh, which I'm fortunate enough to be able to do now because I'm not rushing around trying to fulfill other things. I can actually take time and just think. And I feel that that's actually help, helped my work because it's become perhaps more thoughtful. <laughs> not unreasonably, I suppose. It's actually, I think I keep going back to this word delight. It's expression of the delight of the world around me that gives me the excitement. I'm not going to give allegorical references and um, <clears throat> try and look for some sort of hidden meaning. Yeah, someone else can do that if they want to, but the reality is is that you paint something because you you happen to see a viaduct and think it looks nice in that kind of light. Um, and it's not that viaducts are some symbol of something else, it's a viaduct, uh, but it happens to look beautiful in a winter light at a low angle and that's the bit that excites me. We know when you walk around uh, the countryside that, that it's predominantly green and brown, or that's the perception of it. But if once you start looking into and start painting nature and start looking for those colours, um, that's really exciting because it, actually if you look at nature, it isn't all greens and it isn't all browns. There's purples and yellows and reds and pinks and magentas and, and all those colours. And you just have to take some time to sit and look at them, look at nature, and then you'll find those colours. Um, and you can express those colours on the canvas. And in the end, the painting may not look particularly bright, but if you analyse the painting, you'll see that there are sort of a violet in the middle of it. Uh, and uh, that's a very exciting thing to do. It's a very fun thing to do. And I know a lot of people often say things like, uh, oh, where do you get those colours from? And actually, I don't get them from anywhere, apart from the tube of paint. I get them from, I get them from the world around me and just by looking at it and taking time and uh, enjoying that. That influence has just it has made me want to be a painter. Um, and the fact that, what a wonderful thing to do. I mean, <laughs> if you can do it, if you, if you could achieve what you wanted or near to, you want to achieve and to sit and paint is, is you know, pretty much heaven really. You know.